Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you with a brand new mystery box unboxing But before we get to this massive box, this thing's heavy I have a friend who's not from Toronto here on the channel So Tom, I think you should introduce yourself to the ones who don't know about you So I'm Tom Stefaniak. I have no voice right now. I don't know why I'm sick. My voice is completely gone I do not usually sound this bad. I make sneaker content. I make vlogs I make mystery unboxings too over on my channel So make sure to go check it out Christian. And I've been filming some content this week and I'm pretty excited to open this up. Yeah, this thing's heavy. Feel how heavy this is. You haven't felt it yet. Whoa, this weighs more than my future. <laughs> so we have not one mystery unboxing to show you guys today, but we have a second one as well. So two boxes, one video, and uh, the value of these boxes, I'm not entirely sure yet. So $8,000. $8,000? All right, let's just title it $8,000 mystery That's box. Pro probably unboxing. very untrue. <laughs> I think it might be at least a couple hundred dollars because these boxes are heavy and these boxes are over from the friends at Puma. So, a huge thank you to Puma for sending over these mystery boxes. I really, really appreciate it. They've come clutch in the past with some really great mystery boxes. So, today, today we got some heat planned for you guys. But with that said, if you guys want to win a uh, giveaway item from today's mystery box unboxing, smash that thumbs up button down below and comment down below what item you want from this. We're not going to be able to give all of it away because I obviously want to keep some of it, but it's my way of giving back to you guys. So, you know, pick an item, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more giveaways and to be entered into this one. So with that said, <coughs> Hit the dab, cough. Wow, that's a that's a first. I was never expecting that from you. So Tom, let's uh, let's open up this box and see what we have in store. Oh, there yeah. we go. All right. So first things first. It's not as crammed as I thought it would be. There's a little piece of tape. Piece of tape. So that's like five cents of value. There you go, five cents. And then we have a Chris. envelope with my name on it. Is your name Chris? It's Christian. I've so never heard anyone call you Chris. They got half my name. So I think we should read the letter after because the letters in these packages usually like tell, tell you me what, what's inside. Everything that's inside. But I'm actually pretty hyped. So I'll give you guys a quick peek at the box. It's not full, but we do have a Puma XO box in here. And uh, first off, before we get into this stuff, it looks like it's all from the new Puma XO collection. Tom, can you name one weekend song? Do you know any song? Burning Love. Is that one? <laughs> Painful Desire. Okay, at first it sounded like you were naming off like names of colognes for a Popping second. Popping Pills. <laughs> uh, if he's right, I will be actually very surprised. Do you know the most recent album? Abel. That's his actual name. <laughs> Okay, so Tom doesn't know much about the weekend, so he's gonna have a very like unbiased opinion when it comes to this. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I literally no idea about the weekend. I've heard like maybe two of his songs on the radio. So that's about it. He's like complete weekend virgin. Let's. That let's, just sounds really weird. Let's just roll Pause with it. Time's on that. <laughs> so with that said, Tom, I'll let you do the honors of whoa, whoa, whoa. it's a heavy box. I got you. I'll let All you right. do the honors of unboxing this pair of shoes. Oh, there's just paper. Paper, we got some paper. It's really underwhelming. Yeah. More, no, more paper. paper. More paper. That's a lot of paper. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Whoa. These are like, you see like the trendy Asian girls wearing stuff like this? <laughs> like with like a school girl uh, skirt? I can see that. That is my first impressions. This midsole is like 18 inches thick. Look at it. It's so thick. Thick with two C's. And it has like oh shark Oh my gosh. Teeth. Yeah, it does. It really does. This is incredibly like very heavy. The leather is like really, really nice though. The suede's cool though. Like yeah. materials are awesome on this. I feel like I would, my muscle mass would go up significantly having to lug these around every mm -hmm. single day on my feet because these are very, very heavy. Yeah, if you guys have ever held the Balenciaga Triple S, those things are like 10 pounds and like built like tanks and heavy. This is the closest shoe in terms of weight I've felt in a long time. In my opinion, this really reminds me of sort of like a, a Puma and Rihanna collaboration, like the Fenty stuff or a Puma Alexander McQueen. I'm not used to seeing this high of a platform on this shoe. This is definitely a departure from the other other uh, Puma weekend shoes we've seen in the past. He's, uh, he's done the boots. I have a pair uh, in the back right here. Like, look at these. This is a little bit stuff different from last year. And this is the stuff from this year around the same season. So very different, I'd have to say. Um, this is gonna be very hard to style. Tom, could you wear these yourself? Is this something you could think you could pull off? Or? Okay, so what I'm thinking, we're going London man tings. Yeah. We're going uh, <laughs> cropped plaid trousers. Mm -hmm. And then we're going like a white knit or like cream knit wool turtleneck. Yeah. With like a caramel colored overcoat and a toque that is rolled up or a beanie that is rolled up 
over your ears. It sounds like you've had this like outfit planned for the longest time. You're just not in the right, you know, environment to pull it off. Winnipeg or Toronto. Maybe if you were to go to London again, you could pull off that. Yeah, outfit. next time I go to London, I will take these and I'll wear them with that exact outfit. If there's one person I think who can pull these off, like right off the top of my head. The weekend. Besides, besides Abel, besides the weekend, it would have to be Ricky Thompson. If you guys know Ricky Thompson, he's a freaking hilarious individual. He was at the start of the Amine music video. Um, and he's just a really charismatic fashion forward person. So he's he could pull these off. These are gonna be hard for me to pull off. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wear these, but I do have them and I'm not sure about the retail price of these. So let me check the website real quick. So the uh, the retail price for these sneakers is 130 US dollars. That's not that bad. That's not horrible. I was expecting more because this definitely has more of like that high fashion kind of look And it's look, like actually opinion. good leather and everything too. Yeah, so 130 US of the Canadian prices on screen right now. That's the first item. So with that said, let me throw these on feet and we'll get over to the next item. So for the next item we have, it looks like they have like a full collection. It's all color coordinated. It's pretty heavy. We got a few more pieces of clothing in this box. So let's start off with this toque. It is fall, it is winter coming up very soon as a Canadian, you know, it's a staple to have a toque. Do you wear toques often or? Yeah, but yeah. like for instance, people in Atlanta, I know Tony yeah. and D Money, Tony's friend, yeah. have made fun of me and name brand for calling these toques. Why? I don't know, they just laughed their head off. We said toque. And yeah. Like what's a toque? And then we pointed at their hat. Yeah. And they just started peeing themselves laughing. So whatever you guys call it, skull caps, beanies. Skull caps? Where do yeah. you hear skull caps? Like what everywhere. Skull caps sounds like some edgy emo thing that would be sold out like hot topic. I, I don't know. These are really cool. I, I like this a lot. This is the Puma XO beanie. And I think this is the first time they've actually released a Puma XO beanie or toque. And uh, it's actually or really skull thick cap. or skull cap. It's really thick, nice. Like hold this. Like feel feel how it is. Like pretty thick. Yeah. Pretty nice. Maybe small. This might be too small for my head. Are there sizes? I think it might be an open size thing. Okay. Yeah. I have a big head. I like this a lot. It definitely has that sort of 90s kind of vibe. And I know this collection that we were sent is actually inspired by I think like the 94's fashion, like 1994. The retail price for this is 35 US dollars. And I'll leave links to all the items I show you guys in the description down below so you guys can click those and check them out. And uh, yeah, 35 US for the beanie. Next up we have what looks like to be some pants. So for the pants, it has that same colored coordination. It's this like, would you say this is like a dark teal? In blue, I'd say like that's aquamarine. Aquamarine, it's dark like an, emerald. Emerald and navy blue. That's the colorway of this, and that's also the uh, the color scheme for these pants right here. These track pants from the Puma XO collection. These are collection. super nineties. Damn, man. These, these are, are crazy nice. 90s. So these are also the Puma XO. This is a homage to archive track pants. That's the name of the pants. And uh, wow. These are dope. We have like navy blue is like the main color. And then on the side, we have these emerald hits going down the side. We also have the uh, little like aglets right here by the drawstrings. And then we have the Puma XO branding on the left side, which is a graphic print. I wish that was like stitching or like embroidery, not just a graphic print, but it's still a nice little accent to the pants. And then the cuffing, the cuffing isn't too serious. It looks like it's pretty straight down for the most part, but there is that elastic band at the bottom. Tom, when was the last time you wore like a, a full on track suit or a, a full on Puma track suit for that matter? Literally never, ever. Never. No, I've never worn a tracksuit. Damn. Well, it's like tracksuit season, man. You should get on that before it's winter. True. Maybe I'll start wearing them. <laughs> so yeah, these are the pants, size medium. I messed with these and uh, I can't throw these on body without the next piece I'm about to show you guys. So let me throw on or let me show you guys the next piece that we have in store and the pants. By the way, the pants retail value is 100 US dollars. So that's like 130 Canadian, 100 bucks. It's a bit up there for track pants, but it is a Puma XO collaboration. So it does make sense. But now <coughs> the last piece from this first mystery box is heavy. This is like almost as heavy as the parachute. Like feel how heavy this is, bro. Feel how heavy that is. This guy. That was heavy. <laughs> this guy. Oh, the cringe. The <laughs> 
check this jacket out guys let me just zoom this out for you guys so you guys can really see how big this is this is the puma xo jacket from the brand new collection emerald and navy blue color scheme tom first impression of this jacket it's what dope. do you think it's like a denim jacket mm -hmm. originally until i just felt it right now i yeah. thought this was like a tracksuit type thing yeah but this is definitely like a denim which is cool definitely very 90s mm -hmm. this gives me sort of like a starter jacket vibe yeah except denim instead of nylon i get that it's pretty I cool get that. i yeah. really like the uh the emerald patches on the side right here like the chest the breasticles going on and i think my favorite thing about this jacket is when you unzip the uh let me check the zipper Ooh, it's a ykk zipper you know puma all about that quality but we got the ykk zipper Ooh, that zipper action is so smooth and silky the inside of the jacket the lining is like this furry teddy bear kind of material so i can already tell this is going to be very warm and snug and cozy when you wear it on body so why do you feel how do you feel about this kind of material on the inside of a jacket do you I like, like that it, or not but i feel like it would be very hard to keep clean mm -hmm. like you know let's say it's a cold winter day and yeah i'm just chilling with some hot chocolate and a fine honey walks past and i say mm -hmm. oh damn i'm gonna turn around and then my hot chocolate knocks against my elbow and splatters all over the inside of my jacket these are real life situations that you need to think about and that hot chocolate will be hard to get out of this furry interior okay but outside of that it's very very nice and it's probably very comfortable. Remind me to never hang out with you when you're drinking hot chocolate. Anyways, getting back to some of the details on this jacket, if you look closely around the uh, the left pocket by the front, we get that Puma XO branding. And this is actually like embroidered in to the, uh, the pocket. And this is the kind of embroidery that I wanted to see on the track pants. Really clean a Puma XO branding right there on the side and uh, the back. The back is killer. The back is really, really dope. Puma XO branding. It sort of reminds me of like a varsity high school jacket. Yeah. And uh, it has this like nice corduroy kind of material. Let me bring it up close to the camera for you guys so you guys can really see. But the Puma XO branding is really obvious right there. You can't not see it. That material is nice. There's this emerald like touch to the background of the Puma XO. And uh, just overall, it's, it's a very heavy jacket. I feel like this is a jacket that if you have a girlfriend, they're probably going Gonna want to steal, but not if you spill hot chocolate on not it. Not if first. you spill hot chocolate on it first. But another thing is this jacket is actually, I think, one of the most expensive pieces from this collection. Tom, can you guess how much this jacket cost at retail price? I mean it's nice and it's a denim jacket. Mm -hmm. Nice little fur yeah. on the inside. Not hot chocolate resistant. Um, <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. Maybe like 200 bucks? Almost double that, actually. Whoa, how Three, much is this? 350 US dollars is the the, uh, the retail price point. So that's about that 420 expensive. Canadian, I wanna see. That's up there, that is up there. So if you're wearing this jacket and if you know about like Puma XO and the whole collection, it's a subtle flex. It's definitely a subtle flex, but I feel like this is a jacket that will also get a lot of compliments from the ladies. And it's just, it's so heavy. It's so heavy and thick. So if you have a girl and you break up with her, make sure you get this jacket back. Before you break up yeah, with her. Before you break up with her. Anyways, I'll show you guys one final detail I like about the uh, the jacket. There's also this gradient print right here, and it definitely has that throwback 90s kind of vibe to it. So when you wear this with the matching pants, it's gonna be a complete like outfit all together. And then if you really want to go all in on that 90s vibe aesthetic, throw the beanie. Put the Throw it on, in, toss boom, it on, that skull toss cap. Toss it on like that. And uh, comment down below your opinion on the 90s collection from Puma with this Puma XO uh, collab. And with that said, let me throw this entire wardrobe, this entire outfit on from the Puma XO collection, the 94 or 90s inspired collection. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. And then I will uh, get over to the next mystery unboxing. So, on body, coming up. And before we get to the very last piece from this first mystery box, let me read this little letter from Puma. It reads, the weekend's third collection with Puma has arrived. The latest from Puma XXO takes inspiration from 90s streetwear with bold color blocking and retro graphics. In this homage to archive, tracksuits and bomber pulled straight from the 94 Puma archives are reimagined with sleeker profiles, premium materials, and dedicated XO branding, creating a collection steeped in nostalgia but made for today so this is like i guess actual designs from way back in the just 90s that puma updated. used to have just updated with you know premium materials and the xl branding so that's shout pretty out cool Abel. shout out to oh, Abel. boy <laughs> with that said let's get to the last uh, piece from this collection so on to the final box drum roll from tom let me slice and dice this 
real quick. I'm just gonna say this one doesn't weigh quite as much as the first one, mm -hmm. but there could still be something good in it. All right. Off white Yeezys. Off white Yeezys from Puma. Oh. Uh, no off white Yeezys. <laughs> he got a uh, letter from Puma. Thank you, Puma. They got your name right on that yeah, one. They, they got my name right on that one. Green Puma box right here. And uh, let me actually, whoa, re let me read the label right here. It is the Puma Thunder Spectra. In Puma white, drizzle. In Puma, Puma black. black. Whatever drizzle is. So if you guys have been shoe. following the channel, I love the Puma Thunder Spectra. The Puma Thunder line is, is one of my favorite lines from Puma and one of my favorite dad shoes to date and one of my favorite sneakers of the year. This is the Puma Desert. It's one of the more monotone, monochrome, like one color. It's pretty uh, fresh. But it's, it's uh, it's not as bold as the rest of the collection. So this right here, I think is gonna be one of the bolder colorways from the collection. I'm very excited about it. Tom, how do you feel about the Puma Thunderline and the dad shoes that Puma's been putting so out? So I year? have one pair. It's like the gray, yellow, orange, and blue one. Yeah. And I like them. I haven't personally had a chance to wear them yet. I bought them fairly recently. They're dope though. They're actually really comfortable. I wore them around the house. They're cool. I think they have some really good colorways, some not so good colorways, like those metallic orange ones. Those were trash. Mm -hmm. But like 90% of the shoes that they've released are pretty dope. Has any girl called you daddy yet when you wear those? Oh or? my goodness. If a girl called me daddy, I would kick her out of my house. <laughs> I'm just like, what went wrong in your childhood? That you, ah. <sighs> All right. Enough. That's that's a bad tangent. Let's not go down there. Enough daddy talk. Before we get to monetize, let's check out the last box from Puma. All right, here's one. Is this legit the ones that I was, these are the ones that I own. Really? Yeah. You got them? Did you buy them early or something? No, I got, yeah, I got these of livestock like three or four, maybe even like a month ago. Damn. Well, these just came out in Toronto. <laughs> these are the, I think, Puma Thunder Spectra Electra or Puma. Do you know Puma what we Thunder noticed? Electra. There are two different models. There's Puma Electras and Puma mm -hmm. Thunders. I'm pretty sure you can call these the Puma Thunder Spectra Electras. That's a Spectra, mouthful. Electra, Spectra. if you wear these, you're gonna flex, yeah. Oh man. Hashtag bars. This is, I think, one of the better colorways of the Puma Thunder Spectra. I wasn't a fan of a few of the other colorways they put out, but this is definitely a great colorway for the fall. I wanna say you got the hits of orange right there along the collar, you got the gum bottoms, and overall, it looks like it's a colorway that's gonna maintain, uh, maintain its freshness and its appeal <coughs> while you continue to wear them more. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of these. Dances. I like to what call these, uh, these are the triple P's. The triple P's. Why are um, they the triple P's? Because it's the exact same color blocking as the triple S. Instead of orange, there's red, but besides that, it's pretty much right on par with the Balenciaga triple S. And since it is a Puma, mm -hmm. we will call it the triple P. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a huge fan of these Puma Thunders, and uh, I like I like the variety of materials that they used on these. They have some nice suede right here on that yellow on the very back. We got the Puma branding right there. T damn it, Tom, your face is like my camera's auto detecting your face for that focus. That is because my face is you more beautiful hide. than yours. I'm so you gotta sorry. hide. I can't show them the details unless you're hiding. Thank you. Is this better? This is so much better. We have a mixture of materials. We have the uh, you gotta hide your face. Wow, it's really that. You're, yeah. Why does it want to focus ugly. on my face? There so we go. Much. We got the yellow suede right here. We got the orange collar. We got the gray mesh on the side, which is pretty dope as well. And then we have this smooth leather panel on the very side of the shoe. So overall, I really like these a lot. This is definitely a bold colorway, similar to the original colorway of the Puma Thunder Spectres. I'm a huge fan of these. And uh, yeah, Tom, you said you already had these already, mm -hmm. right? Did, did you, you mention the three? M Puma stripe because I, I believe that is 3M. I'm like 50% sure. 51 maybe. I will have to double check. I'll have to double check. But uh, yeah, I'm a gum huge sole. fan of That's the gum cool. sole. Gum I really like the blue touch. hits. The you don't even notice the blue hits until you like really look at it. So dang, I like it. I like it. So with that said, let me throw these on feet and I will be right back. So these Puma Thunder Spectras retail for a price of 120 US dollars. Definitely one of the more affordable and better bang for your buck dad shoes in my opinion. What do you think about the price point, Tom, for these? I mean, bang for your buck dad yeah. shoes, we have to go for the Nike Monarchs because they're like $60. $60? But if you actually want they're not style. As, they're not fashionable. If you actually want style in yeah. your dad shoes, then this is definitely the best price option if you ask me. That's what I have to go with. Uh, retail price of 160 Canadian dollars. And I'll leave a link for these in the description down below too if you guys want to check them out. So feel free to click that link it supports the channel if you guys do want to click it and uh yeah the grand total 
for everything today. The two pairs of sneakers, the clothing from the first mystery unboxing, it comes to a total of 935 US wow. dollars or 1,223 Canadian dollars many before dollars. tax. So that is all of the Puma. dollars. Oh my gosh. Thank you Puma so much for the mystery boxes over a grand and stuff. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, with that said, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit that red button down below. We got some more mystery box unboxings on the way. And Tom, you should let them know about your, your channel, what's coming up on your channel. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of mystery boxes off of eBay, off of sites that create like conglomerate of brands, Off-White, Bape Supreme, Nike, Adidas, Jordan type mystery boxes, some traveling, New York, sneaker shopping, all of that good stuff and more is gonna be found on my channel. So I'm assuming link in the description. Get yeah. a link, link, Yo, in, the link in the description down below. Let's go. This is like Check Christmas. out his channel and uh, subscribe. Feel free to binge watch his vlogs as well. I'll be in a couple of them. So you might peep me, peep my cringy, yeah, Christian has cringy been in, uh, uh, antics. Probably a good like 25 of my videos. That's what's up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button down below. And if you did make it to the very end of the video, comment down below your favorite piece that we showed you guys in this mystery box unboxing. I'm personally torn between these sneakers and that Puma XO jacket. The jacket that was really jacket nice. That jacket is bomb. I'm really looking forward to wearing that. And if you guys haven't yet followed me on Instagram, it's at SneakerTalksEA. Follow me for some bomb outfit photos and follow Tom. Tom is Tom Stefaniuk. Tom Stefaniuk. Tom Stefaniuk. S-T-E-F-A-N-I-U-K. There you go. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace.